the new fragrance for men. Hello and welcome to the TR Business 90 Second News Update. Here are this week's top stories. Guam International Airport Authority has confirmed to TR Business that it has rejected a new lawsuit filed against it earlier this month by DFS Guam under the Sunshine Act. Management at the airport also adds that GIAA plans to respond formally to DFS's lawsuit in due course, while claiming it has already given DFS everything it is obligated to provide under the law. The Duty Free World Council reports that its quarterly KPI monitor covering Q1 2016 shows a slight increase in the Customer Satisfaction Index. The report was compiled with mindset from interviews with over 4,000 travellers across all major world regions during the first quarter of this year. Retailers and F&B operators are being invited to Philadelphia Airport's Leasing Outreach Forum for local, national and global brands on Thursday the 5th of May. Here, Marketplace PHL LLC and the City of Philadelphia's Division of Aviation will unveil all of the new retail and F&B business opportunities that are being made available within its concessions programme. And finally, according to a new ACI white paper, making customer service the number one priority at airports can have the greatest positive impact on non-aeronautical revenue, with a better return on investment than can be achieved through traffic increases or expansion of commercial space. Director General Angela Gittens told TR Business earlier this year that the model ACI used to produce the report has evolved since last year to include some cross-effects between variables and is now more accurate. That's all for now. Thank you and goodbye.